Matt, there were some big three-year-old fillies up north running Saturday in the Queens Plate, but there was also some good three-year-old fillies running right here in the United States on Saturday. We have the Mother Goose. The Mother Goose, mile 16th over the main track at Belmont Park on Saturday, Matt. I tell you what, there is no Monomoy girl in here. And like we mentioned, there's some good ones up in Canada, but uh, there, there are some very good ones in the Mother Goose. And I think, uh, I think most eyes will be on a pair of fillies, uh, one from California and the other from the Cassie Barn. Road to victory, undefeated in three starts. Midnight Basu making her first start since third in the Kentucky Oaks when she was actually the favorite over Monomoy Girl. And now she comes in for different connections. Yeah, Brian, um, I guess no longer, a, no longer a California horse. Of course, um, she did start her campaign this year with three, three big wins out in California. Um, and uh, Horse Center fans know Brian and I have both liked this horse um, uh, a great deal during the early stages of this year. Um, but since then, since the Kentucky Oaks, she's been transferred from the barn of Bill Spar to the barn of Steve Asmussen and has been training at Belmont Park and will make her first start for, for Asmussen in the Mother Goose, which is a one-turn mile and a 16th race. Absolutely, and I think a mile and a 16th one-turn probably fits Midnight Basu. I, I'm not saying as she matures... She won't be a top-notch two-turn horse as well. But a mile 16th at one turn, we know Midnight Basu is going to like it, Matt. And uh, obviously a good sign that uh, big money Mike Smith is uh, sticking with her, going there to ride. We don't think everything went her way in the Kentucky Oaks. Uh, not that she was best over Monomoy Girl by any stretch. But uh, we remember those races that she ran in California. You're right. This is a, this is a filly I've liked for, for a while now before she even broke her maiden, and uh, I, I remember uh, how good she looked out in California. I think I think this race is going to set up very well for her. She's maybe the favorite. I guess she's a slight favorite, uh, but, uh, you know, the uh, the undefeated filly from the Cassie Barn has a lot to like and a, and a very unusual way of coming to the Mother Goose, Matt. She broke her maiden on turf in Canada last year. Then she came down to Churchill Downs. And ran huge, ran a huge race to win a hard-fought photo over Monomoy Girl. That means she's the only horse to ever beat Monomoy Girl. Of course, the star three-year-old filly of this country this year. And Road to Victory came back after a long layoff to impressively win a turf sprint uh, up in Woodbine. Six and a half furlongs, the Alley Wow Stakes, Matt. And it, it looked like a very nice return. Yeah, like you said, Brian, it... it, it has been a very interesting campaign uh, that Road to Victory has put together in her three career wins with, uh, with the two starts uh, sandwiching around that upset victory in the Goldenrod over Monomoy. Girl, clearly clearly a talented, uh, very talented horse um, facing maybe a little bit, a uh, horse with a little bit more experience and seasoning at a higher level than Midnight Basu. And it, it's interesting um, um, to think about what Mark Cassie had in mind, um, sending the horse up to uh, Woodbine for the six four on turf sprint. Maybe that's the only thing that was available to get the horse in shape. But I know he has said that She's doing really well. She has been training at Belmont, likes the surface there. So um, it uh, should be an interesting matchup. They seem to be the, the big two in the race. But there are others in there. There are others in there, Matt. And uh, it, it, it's not going to be a big field by any means. Probably there will be a scratch and we'll be down to six. But with a matchup like Midnight Pursuit and Road to Victory, uh, we certainly have a lot to be excited about in this year's Mother Goose. Road to victory, who knows how good she might be. I mean, she's really done everything asked, and, and she got a, a really sharp prep in for the uh, Mother Goose. But as you alluded to, uh, Midnight Basu now with Steve Asimusson's barn, uh, just, I, I still like her a lot. I, you know, I'm not telling you anything that uh, you can't find by looking at the odds board on Saturday, but I'm sticking with Midnight Basu in here probably as the favorite over road to victory, but I think it's just a, a really good race to watch. 
and let's start talking about some of those other fillies because, um, yeah, there there are some fillies that may be quite good still in here. Uh, Coach uh, Coach Rocks for trainer Dale Romans is the Gulfstream Park Oaks winner. Finished in the middle of the pack in the Kentucky Oaks. Came back with a decent second in the Black Eyed Susan. You got my Miss Lily, who probably you can draw a line through her Kentucky Oaks uh, experience where she ran 11th. But she was the Gazelle winner just two starts back. And maybe the most interesting of all is most smart. Uh, two easy, easy, easy wins, Matt. She just won for fun for daylight in a maiden allowance race. We have no idea if she can handle this kind of pressure. But obviously, Todd Pletcher has a has a talented filly in most smart. Yeah, most smart is certainly a wild card in here. Um, like you said, Brian, two big, big wins. And and we mean by big numbers of lengths in both of those races. Um, so how good this one is well we'll find out this is certainly a big uh, a big test stepping up to grade two company and, and uh trying to battle horses like road to victory and a proven very very classy horse like uh like midnight pursue but i think like you brian um i gotta go with uh, midnight pursue um steve asmussen uh, you know he knows how to 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 get talented fillies ready for big races so um even though sometimes you hate to see a horse change hands um from the original trainer who had done such good things with the horse they they moved the horse to asmussen for the better summer racing out at belmont and saratoga so i guess you can understand it but uh, um asmussen certainly knows how to handle these kind of talented uh, fillies that's right, Matt. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of nine years ago. I should say also that Midnight Pursuit has a has a few more owners in the mix now than she did uh, just a short time ago. When last she she raced for sure. So Midnight Pursuit has the uh, has the hopes of a large uh, a large group of owners now for Steve Asmussen. Steve Asmussen, the second trainer of a three year old filly coming to the mother goose. <laughs> oh, let me think. That, that's been about nine years since we saw Rachel Alexandra off her Preakness win come to the Mother Goose. She ran 146 and change and won by about 20 lengths, folks. We're not predicting that for Midnight Basu, but uh, unfortunately, we're giving you the favorite exact in here. Midnight Basu over the undefeated Road to Victory. And again, Road to Victory could be a good one. Should be a fun race. 